Welcome to worship at First United Methodist Church of Gatlinburg. We're so happy that you're joining us today for worship. And as we look ahead to the week that includes the Thanksgiving holiday, we wish everyone a wonderful holiday, though it's going to be different for many of us this year. Uh, we still have a wonderful, generous, gracious, and loving God, and we pray that all of you will be safe and well and feel connected to those you love. And perhaps we'll have opportunities this year to reach out to uh, persons that we might not have uh, expected to see at this holiday. Uh, the Lord can bless this difference this year. And so we offer ourselves to the Lord in our time of worship and throughout our week. I do want to uh, let you know that today is considered Christ the King Sunday in the Christian church, those that celebrate the Christian year. So we're concluding the Christian year today. And um, so next Sunday, we'll be prepared for the season of Advent and the beginning of a new church year. So won't that be exciting to begin a new year? <laughs> Praying for a, a much healthier and more stable uh, new year for everyone, much healthier. Um, so we'll have our purple pyramids next Sunday for Advent, and I'd like to invite you to join us on Zoom for our Wednesday night Advent series. I'll have information for you about that on our Facebook page and YouTube page and uh, in the email that I'll send to you. Uh, but just so you're aware that Advent is coming up, and uh, so we wish you a joyful holiday. Now hear these uh, wonderful words from Psalm 100 that remind us so well of, of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye lands. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Today we're joined, of course, by Peggy Smith, our wonderful music director, and we have a special treat to uh, welcome back uh, Connie Walker and Ruth Barber as our flute soloists and um, our flute duet <laughs> uh, today. We look forward to their sharing of beautiful music, so thank you both for being with us. And then we welcome Re the Reverend Arnie Walker to bring the message today. Our prayers are with you, Arnie. We're so grateful you're part of this church family and uh, know that the Lord will inspire you to bring us a very good message. So welcome, welcome, and let's sing our uh, wonderful hymn for this season of the year. Peggy will lead us uh, as we sing. Thank you. 
Amen. Our scripture lesson for this morning the one for Thanksgiving Day the epistle is from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 through 15 if you'd like to follow with me in your Bible 2 Corinthians 9 6 through 15 the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Through the testing of this ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and by the generosity of your sharing with them and with all others while they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God that he has given you. Thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Arnie. Grace be multiplied to you, and peace will be your gift from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the gift of a new day of grace. We thank you for love and laughter. We thank you for home and family. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for forgiveness and new beginnings. We thank you for the call to walk with you, strengthen and energize us that we might be faithful disciples walking with you wherever you lead. Now, Heavenly Father, shape us through your Holy Spirit as we seek to give thanks. Bless and continue to bless our worship this day that the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. I've got news for you. I've got news for you. It contains bad news, worse news, good news, and great news. Bad news. We haven't trusted God. We haven't taken Him at His word. We haven't followed the path He has given to us. And that has created an, a chasm or a gulf between our lives and our God. And so that great gulf is there. And that's bad news. What's worse news is there's not one single thing we can do about it. Not one single thing we can do to build a bridge that will traverse that chasm. But the good news is that Jesus did it all. His cross is the bridge across the chasm 
created by our sin. His cross, His saving love, has made it possible for us to be restored to friendship with our Lord and Savior. So we have bad news, worse news, good news, and the great news is that it doesn't cost a thing. All we can do is say thanks. God's great salvation in Jesus Christ is a free gift. By grace through faith, each of us knows the saving grace of our Lord. And so that's where I believe Christians should begin during this Thanksgiving holiday, giving thanks to our Lord for His great gift of love in saving us, in bridging the chasm created by our sin. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, we have these words that God would share with us Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Give thanks. It was November 10th, 1986 when I came to the Gatlinburg community. One of the early learnings that I discovered was the fact that every pastor and congregation were lone rangers. Each one reached out to serve the needs of the people of this community on their own. And it was quite a learning to have people come to the office for food, for lodging, they came for gas, they even came for auto repair. And I thought, there is no way on God's green earth that I can possibly respond to all this variety of needs. And so I looked for partners. And finally, and contrary to what had been expected, the tunnel syndrome, I went to the other side of the tunnel to find partners. And I found two partners, and we worked together our first attempt at a food ministry fell on its face. But out of the ashes of our failure, God was able to take and bring a beautiful new plant that we call the Sevier County Food Ministry that continues to operate to this day. And so give thanks to God for that food ministry for the steering community that brought it into being, for the board that continues to see that it operates, for its executive director, for all of the volunteers, for those people who opened their billfolds and their purses and their checkbooks to support it. For giving thanks is more than something that's verbal. It is something that has a tangible expression. Give thanks. Give thanks for the ministry to those who lack housing. Once again we began with something that did not fly. We then turned for help to calm as they guided us to the early beginnings and continue to be our partner with Smoky Mountain Rescue Ministry. And once again, give thanks. Give thanks for the steering committee, for the board that continues to see that it works, for the executive director, for all the volunteers and all who support. And then, whether it be the food ministry, the homeless ministry, think of how you will tangibly give thanks 
in all circumstances. One more I'd like to lift up, and that is Mountain Hope Good Shepherd Clinic. It started with a conversation between Dr. Reese and myself, and it continued to blossom through a steering committee, giving birth to a clinic that continued to grow, outgrew its first place, and now is outgrowing its second establishment so that it has been necessary to double its size. And so we give thanks for all who in any way have given wings to that kind of ministry. I would mention something that bothers me, and that is the fact that it took us five years to establish a chaplaincy ministry at our hospital when the chaplain retired. No one has come to minister in its place. And the spiritual needs of both the staff and the patients is something that is critical to the present and the future of that hospital. And one of the ways of giving thanks to the ministry of the chaplain in the past is to see that that ministry is resumed again. And so this morning as we think about gathering for food, saying thanks, let that thanks take wings in a tangible form to some of the local ministries that are making a difference and continuing to do God's work in this place. God bless you as you celebrate anew the giving of thanks. Amen. Thank you.
Amen. Thank you. Quite a lovely gift. We're so appreciative to Connie and Ruth and Peggy for that beautiful, beautiful music of this season. And Arnie, thank you for your message that reminds us the Thanksgiving time of year, how wonderful it is to be in the community of faith, to be a witness in community. Today I invite your prayers for the Wolfhart family, Jack and Tiffany Wolfhart, and the loss of Jack's mother, who died Tuesday at the age of 88. We offer our prayers and sympathy to, to the Wolfhart family. Uh, we continue our prayers for all affected by the coronavirus as the number of cases and number of deaths continues to increase. Uh, we are alarmed by those numbers and we want to do what we can to be safe and uh, do our best to mitigate the spread of the illness. Let our prayers ardently go up to the Lord for healing and we continue our prayers for Reverend Jeff Monsier, one of our Holston Conference pastors who is still hospitalized in the intensive care unit in Kingsport and uh, he's especially one that's just um, continuing to be in need of the ventilator and so uh, our prayers go out to all. Uh, Crystal is Nancy Bledsoe's daughter-in-law and um, she asked prayers for Crystal as a nursing home worker but Crystal represents for us all the medical staff um, who are filling in the gaps in our medical communities to keep hospital patients safe and well and um, it's a, just a very difficult time so we still covet your prayers and with thanksgiving for the good news that maybe a vaccine is on the way we're so thankful the lord is hearing our prayers um, but we want to be responsible to do what we can to prevent the spread of the illness um, we also want to celebrate the joys of the community and remember those who are celebrating birthdays this week. And our friends on the November calendar for this week are Bowie Hancock and Blake Miles and Jonathan Key and Jeff Van Oosting. So a little shout out to Bowie, to Blake, to Jonathan, and to Jeff. Pray you have a, a wonderful celebration and we celebrate knowing you and being in your church family. Uh, we lift our prayers for all who need help and, and assistance. I thank you so much for your continued gifts, your concern, your support, your prayers, your monetary gifts that make possible our Bread of Life ministry. I adorn the altar with a sign of what we will deliver this Tuesday in the Thanksgiving baskets to our neighbors here in Gatlinburg. And uh, Arnie, I, I'm glad you mentioned Sevier County Food Ministry because we work with the director, Jim Davis, uh, especially during this pandemic, to partner with him to uh, fill in some of the gaps uh, uh, in, in the supply chain and in the distribution chain. So it's good to work together in community to feed those who are in need. And also thanks to all in our community who contribute. It's not just church members, but those beyond our doors who uh, see the work we're able to do in the community because of everyone's generosity. So thank you very much. Also for our clothing closet ministry, we thank you. Uh, just remember that this week is a short week for the office. So if you have donations, uh, please do check with me. Uh, Dennis and I will be here Monday and Tuesday this week, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are holidays for all conference and district offices and the churches. So we wish you a good, good, good holiday. Uh, at this season of the year, we want to be mindful of our blessings and those who have made sacrifices so that we might experience blessings. And at this time of the year, I'd really like for us to be mindful of our relationship throughout history, the history of this nation with the first peoples. And so for our prayer today, I'd like to offer one from our Native American collection of prayers in our book of worship from Chief Seattle of the Chinook, uh, Chinook tribe. I'd like to offer this prayer as we want to honor and seek reconciliation, reparations, and restoration for our first people friends. 
Would you pray with me? O oh Lord, our God, creator of the universe, every part of this earth is sacred. Every shining pine needle, every sandy shore, every mist in the dark woods, every clearing and humming insect is holy. The rocky crest, the meadow, the beasts, and all people all belong to your family. The rivers are our brothers, they quench our thirst. The wind that gave our grandparents breath also receives their last sigh. The wind gave our children the spirit of life. This we know, the earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth and its creator. This we know, all things are connected. Like the blood which unites one family, all things are connected to God in Christ, our co-creator. Our God is the same God whose compassion is equal for all. For we did not weave the web of life, we are merely a strand in it. Let us give thanks for the web and the circle in community connecting us. And for our many blessings, we say thanks be to God, the God of all creatures and creation. And so remembering Jesus, our co-creator, our savior, our friend, the one who intercedes for us when we want to pray. Our example in this pattern of prayer, let us join our hearts and voices with our brothers and sisters around the world on this day of worship as we remember his prayer, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Arnie will offer our benediction. Again, we wish you a wonderful and safe holiday. Thank you, Arnie. As you go your way, may God go before you to show you the way, behind you to encourage you, above you to watch over you, beside you to befriend you, beneath you to give your feet firm support, and within you to give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.